हेलो एवरीवन इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन व्हाट इज मीन बाय हाई वेरिएंस इन ट्रेनिंग एक्यूरेसी वी आर गोइंग टू अचीव द एक्यूरेसी क्लोज टू 100% बट व्हेन इट कम्स टू द वैलिडेशन एक्यूरेसी इट ड्रास्टिकली रिड्यूसेस सो दिस इज कॉल्ड एज हाई वेरिएंस इट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज overfitting let's check out why we are getting this high variance in the model so consider we have two independent variable x1 and x2 on which our red dots and green dots are placed now for the classification we have developed a neural network and that neural network has learned this complex curve in the training phase but this will not be suitable for the testing data layout of testing data might be quite different than this but we are trying to put this curve the somewhat different testing data set that's why we are getting less accurate results so how to avoid this high variance or overfitting can be avoided by opposing our neural network to learn such kind of two complex functions by avoiding this we will reduce the high variance thumb rule says that we can reduce the overfitting by controlling w transpose x plus b's output in order to have w transpose x plus b's output in this range we have to make sure that w will not be greater than certain amount why we are interested in this area because the nature of the curve in this area is quite equal to a straight line we have added non linearity in the neural network that's why neural network is capable of learning complex curves that we have seen in the previous slide that can be avoided by reducing magnitude of weight now there are multiple ways to achieve this one of the way is dropout so let's check out what is meant by dropout as the name itself indicates that dropout removes the neurons from certain layers with certain probability for example we have our neural network like this we have x1 x2 x3 x4 as a input in first hidden layer we have four neurons in second hidden layer we have four neurons in third layer we have four neurons and the output layer includes only one neuron now while working with dropout dropout will randomly remove some of the neurons from the neural network with certain probability like this and we will check out how network behaves in such cases for example in the first hidden layer we have placed dropout to 0.25 with 0.25 probability we have removed one neuron in second we have placed 0.5 means half of the neurons will be removed from the layer again in the next hidden layer we have placed probability equal to 0.25 means only one neuron will be removed from the neural network generally for input layers hidden layers with comparatively less number of neurons and output layers probability for the dropout is placed to 0 remember this dropout is only used in the training phase it will not be used in testing phase or will not be considered so benefits are we will spread the weights over all the neurons in the neural network generally neural network tends to put more and more weight on some of the important neurons and these neurons are only able to identify the correct class that is these neurons are playing an important role in order to predict certain things as an output correctly so in order to avoid this we can use dropout dropout avoids putting more and more weight on the some specific 
neuron another benefit by removing some of the neurons randomly with certain probability we can get different neural network at that time original neural network is different one and the modified neural network after removing some of the nodes randomly will be different one that many different neural networks we will get for the input data which will be again helpful to learn the new thing now let's try to include this dropout in our neural network we will check that through code okay this was the code for our previous model we have created input layer then we have added th three hidden layers and at the last we have uh, output layer with 10 neurons having softmax activation function each neuron corresponds to one digit from 0 to 9. In TensorFlow, we can add dropout as layer. So, for that, we have to use model.add into bracket tf.keras.layers.dropout. Okay. And inside this dropout, we have to specify a number that is rate or the probability with which neurons will be removed so here the value must range between 0 to 1 so here i am providing a value as 0 0.2 means elements will be removed with 20 percent probability so let me add that layer after the second hidden layer and the third hidden layer so dropout layer will work on its previous layer so 20 percent neurons will be removed from the previous dense layer same is true for this 20 percent neurons will be removed from the 64 and again 20 percent neurons will be removed from this 32 let me execute this cell we can check out model summary now we can find that dropout as a separate layer is added into the neural network so we have added three dropouts now we have to compile our model after compiling let's execute that model with the help of model.fit okay and yes our model is training on 60,000 images and at the end of 10th epoch we will get accuracy so this is how we can use dropout in the neural network thank you for watching the video